Nobody say. Karen dropped a bomb. I think she's full of shit. I've always felt that way about you since I've met you. I'm cool with that. If you had cut it off there, we'd be fine. But you went deeper. Nobody say. You attacked my integrity. And that is what you're not going to do. Nobody say. Look, I am not mean spirited. I have known for years. I have stood by you. But you take a dig at me every chance you get. You took my friends in this circle and you told them she's fake. I'm not fake. And what is fake is this wedding. She has made an enemy out of me for life. If she has a thousand haters, I am one of those haters. If she has one hater, I am that hater. If she has zero haters, I have left this world. Personally, she will never know peace as long as I am on this world. And that's just how I feel. <laughs> just when I thought it was safe for me to quietly slither off the Robin Dixon hate train, Karen Huger had to light her behind up. And here I am, back again, forced to talk about all this mess involving Juan's roommate and this little wedding scheme. After all, it's Justin Diego back with another Binge Worthy video. And today, let's talk about how Bravo is really just gonna keep having us giving Juan's roommate the side eye before we get into how People Magazine decided to announce that the Dixons actually, finally, may have gotten married again, I guess. Why you keep feeling the peace now that you open the cage? Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. If y'all watched Sunday night's episode, you already know that Juan's roommate was not having it with her ops and Queen Karen was sitting on ready. Seriously, y'all, I don't know what's gotten into her, but in these last few episodes, Karen has been wanting all the smoke. It's your choice to do this cloak and dagger sh with your wedding. I don't believe that's gonna happen she because- She don't need to do that for you? No, right. no, for why, why would she need to do that for you? Hell, this is not you, you're not so even near her altar, be quiet. And I feel like it's all Ashley's fault because I peeped how she gets just a little bit too excited when she finds out that somebody else is getting cheated on in this group. <laughs> No, seriously, because I imagine Ashley Darby be like, hello, ring, ring, ring. Um, Candace, have you gotten cheated on? No, no, okay. Well, I'll call you back. <laughs> hello, Giselle, do you got the <laughs> Yo, whoa, 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 hey, whoa. <laughs> I mean, are you still with Jamal? Has he cheated on you? Mm, he hasn't? Uh, I'll call you back. So when she heard about Robin, she was just like, hey, Robin, girl, I don't really like you like that. But let's go shopping. Let's chat. Let's just, you know, be miserable together. <laughs> and it was just so messy and everything went downhill from there. What is this like? She asked me to let her talk to you about it. It's not on note. Okay. Well, you it is right. about Juan. Okay. Well, it's gonna come out either way, right? I uh, yeah. Because Ashley really thought that she was just gonna run up and stir the pot and force Karen to give them all these good old ratings on the cameras. What's up, Hey, Karen has come to her and said that you have a a girlfriend. I'm about, to, I'm about to hang up because this is why I don't like this shit. But what actually happened instead was Robin called Wine and she actually got cursed out for irritating him about his girlfriend again. <laughs> Karen don't know me. I'm a tough one. I'm not Robin. I'm not playing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, Playboy. That is a lot of energy for Karen. I wish you had kept this same energy for the assistant coach down at that schoolhouse when that little boy came to him trying to get help sorting that mess out. Allegedly. No, for real, y'all, I felt really bad for Robin because Juan answered the phone so irritated. It was like, Robin, dang, what you want? Shoot, I only get a couple of days with my girlfriend and I'm not gonna spend it with you calling me every five minutes with all this roommate drama. <laughs> yeah, if you watch the episode, you already know that from this point, everything escalated and Karen and Robin just went back and forth, throwing out huge allegations. But y'all need to go on ahead and watch the episode yourself because what I'm really here to talk about today is a lot more juicy. 
Now let's get into it. Y'all, we've really been minding our business, still counting down till we get the first look at Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15. And then here go People Magazine talking about Juan's roommate didn't tie the knot. And I'm confused because People Magazine, this article was completely unprovoked. Yeah, People Magazine broke the exclusive story earlier this week that allegedly Robin Dixon and Juan Dixon are officially married again. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I would like to see it. <laughs> they are saying that they have multiple sources confirming their happy news is going to officially be revealed in the upcoming season finale episode for RHOP's seventh season. And in an interesting turn of events, the wedding was reportedly taped after Bravo officially shot the finale episode. And I don't know if Andy had originally planned to do some sort of wedding special for Robin or something. That wouldn't have really got them in the room. But I'm glad that we at least get to finally see her storyline finally wrap up, you know, for her final season. <laughs> right? Y'all excited? We're there too, right? Right. Oop, y'all, since I recorded my original voiceover for this video, I've gotten some breaking news in. Oh my God, this is crazy. I was able to get exclusive leak footage of Robin and Juan's roommate and their beautiful wedding. Do y'all really want to see it? Oh my God. And I don't want to, look, this is a binge worthy exclusive. So I better not see it on Straight From The A, Housewives of ATL or The Shade Room without y'all crediting me first. <laughs> Your exclusive first look inside Robin and Juan's wedding starts now. <laughs> right, because the wedding never fucking happened. <laughs> No, y'all, let's be serious. Let's be serious, though, because I really just don't understand how the whole production team managed to keep this wedding all under wraps and, like, Bravo ain't saying nothing, Andy ain't saying nothing, Robin ain't post pictures or nothing. And I really just don't understand what would be the point of the girls not being involved in the wedding since this has literally been Juan's roommate storyline again and again ever since she first stepped foot on the show. But I guess it'll all make sense when we hear what everyone has to say at the reunion, which was taped after the alleged secret ceremony. Oh Lord. And I think it's mad petty that Bravo has stayed so tight-lipped on this entire topic since this story broke. Ooh, a lot going on. And I'm loving how engaging Real Housewives of Potomac fans have been this season. Y'all had me cracking up talking about. Can had them people running to get married with the crying laughing face emojis before another Karen fan responded saying, LOL, it's not giving before this girl cracked me all the way up talking about. I know Michael Darby crying and throwing up viciously right now. <laughs> and another Shady fan got her a piece saying, laughing my butt off. She made sure to do this before the reunion with the crying laughing face emojis, girl. And one fan peeped the upgrade talking about, She's no longer the roommate with the heart eye emoji. <laughs> no, because the Wands roommate shade has single handedly motivated me to keep on making these videos about Real Housewives of Potomac this season because it's just so clever and we really gotta credit Black Twitter for that, y'all. <laughs> but I don't know. If they actually got married, does that mean that I have to stop calling her Juan's roommate? Mm, it kind of seems like the right thing to do, but I don't know. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to kill me! Now, some of Robin's fans were definitely not feeling the shade, though. Chiming in saying, y'all so bitter in these comments with the sour face emojis. Just say congratulations and keep it moving. Dang, what's the hate for? Question mark, question mark. 
with another fan windmilling in the comments for Robin as well, responding. The negativity in these comments? Sheesh. Y'all talked about her not being married. She's married now and y'all still got something to say. And this comment had me shook talking about. Like Karen said, until we see the marriage license, we don't believe it. <laughs> With the cry and laughing face emojis. No, 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 I didn't. No, I did not. I did not. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Were you surprised to see that Karen was definitely dragging the hell out of Juan's roommate by her wig like that in front of everybody? <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I could have said that without being that dramatic. Also, let me know if y'all feel like both Karen and Robin were making up stuff just to get under each other's skin. Anyways, I've got to go so I can try and hunt down this little marriage license because I feel like if they did actually get married, I'd kind of be happy low key because finally y'all can just get off Wine's nuts so that he can go and cheat in peace with me. <laughs> just playing. Thanks again for watching this video. I will see y'all wedding officiates on the next one.